Hi, my name is Nikola Danilov and I'm applying for the 2011 Singularity University Graduate Studies Program. I really appreciate your time and consideration, but I thought I'd make things easier for you by quickly giving you my top 10 reasons why I should not get accepted to Singularity University. So once again, the following are my top 10 reasons why I should not get accepted to Singularity University. Reason number 10. I'm not a scientist. People who know me say that I am good at pattern recognition, strategic analysis, and negotiation. But chances are I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, and I'm not going to be awarded the Nobel Prize in theoretical physics. Number nine, money. I can't pay for Singularity University, so why shouldn't you get someone with equal or better qualifications who can actually afford to pay for it? Number eight, accent. As you can see, English is not my first language. I was born and grew up in Bulgaria, but now I live in Canada. The problem with my accent is that sometimes my jokes don't work. Other times, people think that I'm joking when I'm being serious. And that could occasionally be a problem. <laughs> Number seven, I'm hard to fit. I don't always fit. By nature, I'm a contrarian a Socrates, a gadfly, sometimes even a troublemaker. So why not get someone who always fits? Reason number six, scarcity. Let's face it, despite everything, spots at Singularity U are very scarce. Scholarships are likely even more scarce. Thus, if you give, it, if you give one to me, you will be taking it away from someone else. Do you really want to do that? Reason number five, sense of humor. Now, perhaps you think that I'm not so funny, sarcastic, or original. Well then, of course, make sure that you do get someone who truly is. Reason number four, age. I'm 34 years old, but please don't get me wrong. When I say age, I mean that deep inside, I'm still a 10-year-old kid. So perhaps you ought to wait until maybe someday I actually grow up and become an adult. Reason number three, imperfect record. I have great academic, professional and other accomplishments in a spectrum of diverse disciplines. But if you look closely, you will find out that I don't have a perfect record. One of my philosophy professors at the University of Toronto noted that I have a very strong response towards good teaching. The thing is that it goes both ways. That is to say that I have equally strong negative response to poor teaching. So accepting me would involve taking substantial risk. Why not accept someone who is a sure bet instead? Someone with perfect record. Reason number two, leadership. I'm often conflicted between being a born individualist and a natural leader. On the one hand, as Mark Twain puts it, I feel uncomfortable and begin to reflect whenever I find myself on the side of the majority. On the other hand, I have a record of being a successful leader for small motivated teams such as a platoon or a small business team. Being a leader for larger groups of people though is still something I need to work on. Reason number one, passion. It's been said that most people live their lives in quiet desperation. I believe that the reason is that most people hate what they do. Now, I didn't start singularityweblog.com and singularitysymposium.com for money or to get accepted to Singularity University. And that is why I will continue doing those no matter what. However, if I do get accepted, that would mean that once again, I will end up doing something that I truly love and I'm truly passionate about. So why shouldn't I finally grow up and learn to do things that I hate instead? So those were my top 10 reasons not to be accepted. Of course, if you decide to disagree, and argue that none of the above ought to prevent me from coming to Singularity University, since I've already given you my best shot of convincing you otherwise, 
I will have no other choice but to oblige. Thank you for your time.